Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. Today is a day of mourning in the nerd world, especially for those of us who just wanted a god damn flash movie. I mean, come on, Warner Brothers, what the hell's happening? Yeah, that one dude who wrote that fan fiction about that classic novel who dropped out, Seth Graham Smith, and while he probably would have made just a fine movie, us fans were excited to nab a director with a little bit more experience. Rick Famuyiwa stepped up and fans rejoiced. We loved dope, so let's see what kind of Flash movie he'd make. They started casting for a bunch of major roles and things were feeling good, things were going great, and then bam, Rick leaves the project. Flashback, the fastest way to concern your audience is to start cycling through directors like an indecisive car DJ. Just pick a damn song and stick with it to the end. How bad can it get? Why did you say that name? It's his mother's name. All right, fair enough. It kind of feels like sometimes the studios behind these films just want to see them fail. But that doesn't make sense, right? Hmm. Now think about this. Are these directors leaving left and right actually a good thing? Not just for this film, but other superhero films like Deadpool 2. Do these studios know what they're doing or is everything just a mess and they need to abandon ship and start from scratch? I don't think everything is as dire as we like to make it out to be. Maybe there's a legitimate positive reason for these directors to step away from these projects. Let me explain. My reasoning for this came from a snippet of Rick Famuyiwa's statement after he announced that he was leaving the Flash film. In quote, I pitched a version of the film in line with my voice, humor, and heart. While it's disappointing that we, Warner Brothers and Rick, couldn't come together creatively on the project, I remain grateful for the opportunity. Sure, this is a professional letter and a still up and coming director wouldn't really want to poo poo all over a major movie studio for possibly burning him, but it does bring up a valid point. Rick pitched a movie, the studio had another vision for it, and they decided to part ways instead of making something that is subpar. Now this part is just my speculation, but it's clear that DC wants to now make quote unquote fun movies, straying away from the Batman v Superman ultra dark vibe that audiences kind of rejected. Now if any of you have seen Dope, which is a great movie and I highly recommend it if you have not seen it, I think we can agree that it's not necessarily a fun movie. So to properly capture the right tone of The Flash and all the other DC characters that have been loved by fans for over 75 years, then maybe we need to find someone that can have a little bit more fun with Mr. Barry Allen. It's kind of like Tim Miller walking away from Deadpool 2. Sure, it's sad to lose a director that we're now familiar with, but Tim and Ryan Reynolds had their creative differences and in the long run, I believe that this is the best decision for this sequel. Long story short, Tim Miller wanted to make something deeper, more stylized for the sequel while Ryan Reynolds wanted to stay true to the character and the comic. In the end, the studio sided with Reynolds and the director left the project amicably. I'm gonna use that word like I know what it means. It was in the article. With both of these cases, it looks like the studio is muddling up something that's magical and great, but maybe there's a good reason. Maybe they're actually trying to make something that you would enjoy both as a fan of the character and property, but also as a newcomer to the franchise. Ever try to explain the Speed Force to somebody who couldn't give two farts about comics? It's damn confusing and you need someone who can have some fun with it. I'm not trying to say that these studios are perfect, but maybe what I'm trying to say is that let's wait and see. Jeff Johns is the creative boss over at DC Films now, and if you've read any of his runs with DC, you know that he knows these characters, you know that he loves them, and he knows how to take them into fun uncharted territories that will engage and delight the viewers. Heck, he was the main man behind the Flash comic for years. You don't think he knows what to do with a speedster? Jeff Johns has got this. As for Fox, Ryan Reynolds won't let Deadpool 2 go to shit. He paid out of his pocket to make the script for the first film perfect, so let's have some faith. But anyways, what do you think about the Flash movie losing another director? Can we stay positive for five seconds or has WB burned us too many times? Let me know down below. I'm gonna be in the comments when this video goes up so we can talk a bit about it. But I'm gonna be honest, all this Flash talk is making me nostalgic of last week when the new episode of Flash came out. Before I go watch both seasons of The Flash before tonight's new episode, let's go check out Panda Republic on Animal Planet Go. Check out the link in the description to learn more about how you can look at these adorable creatures anytime you want or just download the Animal Planet Go app for free from your app store. Easy as pie. Like this video, share it with your Flash friends, and subscribe. I'm Sam Basher. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. You know how to deal with Walter White? You show up in a power armor from Fallout 4. Ooh.